you remember that bag of Oryx that we got from Mr. James recently? Well, this green Oryx XL Select is done. Ready to show you how it came out, ready to show you what it looks like now, and then I'll tell you what I did with the black one, the black XL5 that came with this, that this is wearing some of its parts. Show you what I did with that as well. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, Oric, the epiphany of Dirty Fan Upright Vacuum Cleaners is done. Looking very nice indeed. I shall take the cable off and note that this is not the same cable it was wearing. The cable that it was wearing was a little bit bent, you know, it wasn't damaged as such, but I had this, which is also an Oric cable. In the UK, it seems, they all really sort of came with this plug here, with that written on the fuse cover. Well, where are we? Well, shin. There you go. I think I'll put it on upside down. Seems that they all came with this because all the ones that I've had very recently, anyway, and the spare cable that Mr. James himself actually gave me a few years ago, all had that plug, which is quite nice. And it all goes into the helping hand handle. Very nice handle this with the switch there and nothing else really because there's nothing else on this whole vacuum cleaner at all to be honest. I mean it is a very simple beast indeed. The back spine and fan cover are from the black one. I I still swapped them over because that was what I was asked to do and obviously you know this one had all of its bits or, or glued together but it was almost cemented together. It was rather astonishing the lengths they went to to stick it together and yeah it was pointless really because we replaced it with a nice proper part indeed let's move on down to the bag which i've done nothing with i'll be honest mr james already washed this when he first got the machine i don't want to wash it again in case we made it worse but inside is fitted a genuine oric heppery flowy type bag and I've no idea where this came from because I can't find one for sale in the UK or I can find in the paper bags more on that later but yeah this one has a very nice genuine bag in it very nice green outer bag in excellent excellent condition down below well again things are looking good we have our headlight our nice green and underneath is all the original parts Literally, that's a brush roll it came with. Just greased the bearings and cleaned it all up. Washed and polished everything. And she's ready to go. Ready for me to plug it in and show you how it runs. I'll give you all a headphone warning, but for those of you familiar with our wreck, you probably don't need one. You know what's coming because it's a little bit loud. But ever so smooth and good running with it, and both of the headlights work, which is very nice indeed. does a half decent job of grooming the carpet. I was watching one of the Vintage Appliance Emporium's videos the other day on his one of these, Mr. Steve and his Oric, and I'll be honest, I agreed with every word. I've always 
quite like these. I think, you know, they groom relatively well for such a dense, soft brush roll. It, they nailed it. It weighs absolutely nothing. And they're really tall, which for me is great. So I'm not stooped over like we do with so many other vacuum cleaners. Ha! Huh. Do have a soft spot for them. But I don't know if you remember from the before video of this, but there was a second machine, wasn't there? There was an RX XL5, which I was told to use the spares for this machine. And well, would you believe it? We accidentally made a completely working, decent vacuum cleaner. That these are a couple of parts which I think we should fix now. Yes, this is an RX XL5 with Senoc hypoallergenic on the bag. Whether that means that it gives you hypoallergens or it stops them from coming to you, I don't quite know, but it's on the bag. We have a completely different style of handle now. This is a much newer machine than the other one. So yeah, we have a different style of helping hand handle, though it doesn't actually say helping hand on it anymore. The same power switch, it's the same machine, and very similar, just different moulding on the handle. Cord hook sits at the top here. And then, exactly the same moulded plug on this very different machine as well. And yeah, this has all of the spine from that green one. Once I chipped all of that cementy stuff off, it's fine. I don't know what its problem was. I don't know why they cemented it together. That's what made me put this thing back together because, well, we've got it working and it's now a very decent cleaner. The only real downside is that the bag is quite tatty on the edges, especially there. It's, you know, been used, it's been brushed against stuff, but, you know, the bag is still very much fine if we open it up. Fine, sadly, not a nice, genuine, heckery style one, but a cheapy, cheapy paper bag that I happen to have in the shed, actually. Quite lucky there. Otherwise, you wouldn't have had a bag at all in this. But that shouldn't be a problem, because the original Oric bags were paper, and that seems to work absolutely fine. Let's have a look at the bottom, which is also where the majority of our new parts need to go. And talking of the bottom, do you remember I thought that it was melted when we first looked at it? Well, it turns out it was candle wax. And it all scraped off, scrubbed off, and bar these little scrapes, which is nothing really, it's mint, really. It's surprisingly good. It's also exactly the same moulding as this one, bar the headlight covers. They're the same. Oh, it never changed their base design they just kept doing differences to it all the time and well while we're here we may as well remove the headlight cover because did you know in the UK at least with our 240 volt voltage that if you wire one of these up wrong you blow both of the headlight bulbs together in spectacular fashion so that is why in this toilet roll of intrigue we have some new bulbs yeah, I did an oopsie and blew one of the elements completely out of one and popped the other. So yes, new bulbs were needed and actually Mr. James told me about these. They did in his eBay watch list. I actually bought three, although one of them isn't for this. Yeah, they're little tiny LEDs. I'm going to hold them with a piece of tissue because there was a note in with them saying to do that. And hopefully they'll just slot into there like so we'll get the other one out and then the third one i'm going to try in my curvy heritage turbo one day because they're the same style and voltage of bulbs and it was cheaper for me to buy three at once than it was to just buy another one another day yeah now it has hopefully we'll test it out in a minute working and potentially quite bright headlights ah there's my driver Turn the torque right down. That's why I like this little 12 volt Makita. It's perfect for smashing vacuums together. Because you don't need a lot of torque. As soon as they're nipped up, it's okay. So that's the top side. Underneath, and we'll get on with it by removing the five screws. Gosh, I'm very, very apt at this now. I've done a few of these. Yeah, he says, completely missing the sixth, fifth screw. 
we can move this bottom plate, we can see our brush roll, which is terrible. Oh, I suppose we'd best also remove the belt fitment cover in order to slide the belt off of the motor pulley and take this out. Yeah, this brush roll, I mean, it would do, yeah, I suppose, if you had, you know, this is your own machine, but for, I think, £11, we have a very nice, non-genuine, but brand new wooden brush roll. And it looks that better than this one because it's got the metal style belt pulley, which the green one actually has from itself. So yeah, nice brand new brush roll I thought we would fit. Oh, it's a warning sticker. Cancer of reproductive harm. Oh no, we best not smoke this brush roll. Oh, we best not smoke this brush roll, Felix. It might give us cancer. We'll have to stick to the fags. And then we've also got a new and an old and <laughs> Looking here now, I don't actually know if the new should go at the top or the bottom. I possibly should have clarified that before the video started. Well, I think we'll put it on the top because that's certainly enough anyway. We'll leave the belt off. This was the one oh, that was filthy, had all the gunk and the wet through it. So it came up very well indeed. Again, yeah, most of these things always do. It's what you want to see in a way because when you wash it off, it normally reveals some very clean plastic underneath. Normally and hopefully. One, two, three, four, and the fifth one. And that's it. Our Kirby is now serviced. Put those over there. And yeah, so bar the odd remnants of probably where I had to hammer it all out with a screwdriver. You wouldn't really tell that there was ever anything wrong with this at all. I mean, I'm certainly going to sell it quite cheaply. Um, yeah, they're, not, they're not worth a lot of money. I'd rather just get rid of it and pass it on. Put the belt over there. Slide this cover in. That's it. You will slide in. Do up its screws. Ready to show you how this one works. And you know what? We'll stay there because I want to see how the LEDs work. These might blow out if they're the wrong voltage. If the eBay listing was a lie. Let's have a look. <laughs> Tragically sunny day today, so you're not going to be able to see much, and I don't think they're room lighting be good anyway. But you know, bulbs are bulbs, and they were only a pound or so each. That's not too bad. Let's see how this works with its brand new brush roll. <laughs> push on this very deep power rug. It works really well. Let's just check all the bristles haven't fallen out of our pattern brush roll. No, they haven't. And yeah, I mean, shows just how good the brush roll on the green one was, because you can't really tell the difference, which means that the one on this green one isn't that worn out, which is very nice indeed. And that's that. I've accidentally made two good RXXLs out of, well, two bad RXXLs really. One didn't have to get scrapped, I didn't have to make it into a power head for another vacuum cleaner. They both got done and are very nice indeed. So that's it for these two RX. I do have one more to show you. There is one more after video coming up 
on an artwork that you haven't seen for many years. But for these two, they're done. And this green one is ready to go back to Mr. James. And this black one, oh, I'm probably going to sell it because I don't want to keep them. I've got far too many vacuum cleaners as it is. And yeah, it deserves to go to somebody who's going to love it and use it with all of its hypoallergenic goodness. And we can have some space to see some more stuff. So tell me, what are your thoughts and opinions on the Orec machine? Our Lord and Saviour, Mr. David Orec, who is still alive, I think, in 98 or something now. Bless him. Probably still doing the infomercial somewhere in his head maybe but his machines well sadly they're made by TTI now so they're probably complete trash although I've not actually had one of the newer ones perhaps I should look out for one and see if we can get hold of one to see what they're like compared to these old classic ones and I'll say old and classic because yeah this design ran for years tell me when you know year wise how long have these machines been being pumped out with just minor cosmetic changes and not a lot else. Do let me know down below, but for now, for this video, I thank you very much for watching. Hope that you have enjoyed, and I, but not these, will see you soon. Bye bye.